Hey, 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 what's going on, y'all? It's your boy, SS Sean, coming to you from the Team HHP Compound. First and foremost, I want to give a shout out to all of my real supporters, all my real fans, all my real followers. Whether you've been here from day one or you just came aboard, shout out to all of y'all. Hey, if you've been keeping up with the page and everything I've been posting, everything I've been talking about, then you know I've been talking about doing this little podcast type of thing where I'm talking about the Dinosaur Diaries. I know a lot of y'all is like, what the hell is Sean talking about? What the fuck is Dinosaur Diaries? Hey, check it out. I'm going to feel y'all in because tonight we're about to get into volume one of the Dinosaur Diaries. Hey, what is Dinosaur Diaries, you say? Hey, Dinosaur Diaries is the perspective on the game from an OG, from somebody that been in a game for over 20 years, done seen a lot, done done a lot. Hey, from storytelling, from old stories to my perspective on the game as it relates to today and all of that. But hey, check this out. Value one, the first segment tonight, right now, is going to be based on a historic story that I'm about to tell y'all. Uh, based on something that I went through when I was, I was 19 years old when I went through what I went through in this story that I'm about to tell y'all. Hey, check it out. Hey, we all been young. We all done been through a whole lot. You know what I'm saying? Hey, y'all remember being young when you was, you know what I'm saying, making, you know what I'm saying, bad decisions and doing things that, you know, could cost you your freedom or, you know, could sway your trajectory, your trajectory, excuse me, your trajectory, depending on what you was doing in life and all of that. Hey, check it out. I got a story for y'all tonight that y'all gonna love. And it's regarding some car shit from when I was 19 and what I did and what they did to me. Check it out. Stay tuned, right? So check this out. I was 19. I'm riding in my, I'm riding in my 99 SS Camaro. And, you know, it's, I, don't, I can't remember. It was a, it was a Saturday night. It was a Saturday night. I was out and about enjoying life. And the year was 2005, right? It was 2005. At the time I was currently enrolled in wild tech automotive school. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I was going to wild tech, doing my thing, trying to get my career off the ground. And, you know, I was on the up and up. I was handling my business. I had my hustle straight. I had my schooling straight. I had everything in alignment. You know what I'm saying? Now, growing up to this point, I was I was a wild boy in the streets. You know what I'm saying? We was all sideshow boys back then. We was getting, you know what I'm saying, hella points on our driving records and, you know what I'm saying, doing the most in the streets with the sideshow in East Oakland. You know, that was that was a way of life for a lot of people back then. And I was one of those people. But Around this time in 2005, you know what I'm saying, I was on the up and up of trying to get my career off the ground, and I was attending Wild Tech in West Sacramento, but, you know what I'm saying, I was still living in East Oakland and doing my thing and running the streets and having fun with these cars and doing all of that. So, all of that being said, you know what I'm saying, I was heading home one night after, you know, being out and about, just, you know what I'm saying, uh, doing my thing, and... At the time, I was living on 106. 106, for a lot of y'all, y'all might know Oakland, y'all know 106, that's in the deep east. And 106, MacArthur, Foothill Square area, that was a big sideshow area back in the day where the sideshow would get popping that, right? So I was on my way home, I'm minding my own business. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm trying to be square. I got hella points on my record. I've been side showing, but I'm trying to get square with it. I'm trying to get, you know what I'm saying, my career started. And I'm already knowing, like, man, in order to get this automotive career started, I got to kind of fall back from the streets because the streets was causing me to have a real bad driving record. And with me trying to be in the automotive industry, you know what I'm saying? You need a good driving record in order to get a job in the automotive industry or else, you know, you're not insurable. So, you know, all that in mind, you know, I'm trying to do the right thing, right? I'm trying to change my life because I had already been in the streets at least four years size showing at this point. So I'm heading home, coming down MacArthur, getting ready to turn left on 106. I'm headed home. 
And lo and behold, I pull up to 106 in MacArthur. It's a full-fledged sideshow going on. I mean, streets is packed. Everybody and their mama out there is cranking, right? I go through. I'm like, you know, I'm trying to be cool, man. You don't let them do their thing, man. I'm going home. And I got school on Monday. I got a lot of shit to look forward to, man. Let them do their thing. Man, I turn left on 106, get like one block below MacArthur, and I'm like, Nah, bruh. So, you know how you got the angel and the devil on your shoulder? You got your, your conscious and your subconscious. It's always a, an internal battle that you're going through between the, the good and bad, right? So I turn left on 106, and I'm like, you know, I'm just going to go home. I'm going to be cool. I'm going to lay it down, you know? And then the little, the, little, the little devil in me was like, nah, bruh. You got to go back and let them know what it do. You got to serve it, bro. You got to let them know. Man, I fell victim, y'all. So what I do? I hit a U-turn, go back up 106, turn right. Man, I'm popping clutch after that, bro. I'm popping clutch. I'm sliding. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm serving them, serving them. If you know about the town back in the day, I'm in front of Midnight Video, all in front of Happy Doggies, all in front of AMPM Gas Station Arco. If you know, you know. So check it out. I'm serving them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 6 p 99 SS thing. It was blue at the time. Man, I get through serving them, man. One of my partners from the Deep East was like, hey, bro, they, they own you, bro. They own you. I'm like, I'm like, who own me? They own me. They own me. So I'm looking around. I'm, I'm really thinking my guy telling me they own me in the car on a ground unit. So I, 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 I get up out of there. I I hit from 106 and Mac. I hit the 580, go down 580, get off on Keller, go down mountain. I get, I go down mountain. I'm under 580 at the top. You know what I'm saying? On Edwards, you know, 73rd really, but you know, Edwards exit. So I'm under the freeway overpass. I get out the car. I'm wiping down the rubber from the back of my, my bumper. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to, I'm trying to wipe off the evidence, right? Mind you, I'm supposed to be going home this whole time and being on some square shit, right? Man, I get on the phone with my pot and I say, hey, Mike, bruh, it's cranking hella hard in the east, bruh. I'm finna come get you, bruh. It's cranking too hard to go home. Mind you, I'm 19, I'm young, you feel me? I'm still kind of immature with it. So I, I wipe down the rubber from my, from my bumper, you know what I'm saying? A little quote-unquote evidence. Now, mind you, the whole time that I was driving from 106 and Mac to the top of Edwards, I thought I heard a helicopter following me, but they never put the light down on me, right? And I I really was like, am I being followed by a helicopter? But they, they knew better than to put the light on me because what they was really trying to do, peep. So I get in the car, call my partner. Hey, bro, it's cranking hella hard, bro. I'm about to come pick you up, right? Man, right as I'm calling, bro, I look in the side view mirror. Two highway patrols coming around the corner from Mountain Bullet, from Mountain Boulevard, right there on the side of 580. Woo, woo, woo. Hey, man, it was like I was halfway like a deer stuck in headlights, but without being still. It was like one of them moments I had to decide what I was gonna do. Right? I say, man, they got me. Then I say, then the, the angel and devil talking again. It's like the angel like, oh, they got me. The devil like, shit, fuck them. Man, I must have hit a three-point turn. I turn, they coming from behind me, y'all. I hit a three-point turn. I turn left, back up. Now I'm facing them. I'm going head up with two CHP cars. Whoop, whoop, whoop. I pop clutch. I wiggle around them. Boop, boop, boop. I'm, I'm, I'm doing a buck down Mountain Boulevard now, parallel to 580. Now... The helicopter come down, put the light on me. Boo! They got the light on me, right? So I'm, I'm, whoop, whoop. I'm, I'm, I'm six speed shifting, going crazy down Mountain Boulevard, on parallel to 580, right? I take it all the way from 73rd Edwards all the way to Golf Links. I'm like, hey, I'm gonna have to do some real, some real trickery type shit to get up out this situation. Mind you, this, this is 2004. No, it's, it's, I'm sorry, y'all. It's 2005. 
the Gone in 60 Seconds movie, you know what I'm saying, with Nicolas Cage, that shit came out in like the year 2000. I ain't going to say he the one who made me do it, but you know what I'm saying, I was impressionable when I was a youngster. So, you know what I'm saying, in my mind, I'm like, nigga, if he could do it, I could do it. You feel me? Hey, this might have not been my first high speed, but it was definitely one for the book. So, look, 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 check it out. So, I'm taking him on one down mountain. I get, I go all the way down mountain. I'm on golf links now, right there by the Shell Station. I'm like, bro, I'm going to have to do some crazy shit to get away. So, I get back on 580 heading towards West Oakland. Hey, and if you know anything about a 99 Camaro, you know that as soon as you drop that e-brake at night with the little light sensor on the dash, the headlights come on. So I say, all right, I need to pull that e-brake up about one inch to the brake light, come on the dash, boom, the headlights ain't going to come on automatic. I'm about to dog them out with no headlights. So I'm on 580. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm shifting the fuck out that motherfucker. It's all stock, but boy, I was shifting the fuck out that car at that time, right? Man, the, the helicopter could barely keep up. The light was just, it was like GTA style. That motherfucker was scooting and scooting. It couldn't keep up. I'm doing it moving. Man, I get off on seminary. Turn left under the freeway going towards the gas station right there at the top of seminary. I'm under the freeway. Pop clutch. Yeah, yeah. Pop, pop. Pop clutch. Squip around. Whip back the other way. Now I'm going up the mountain. Man, I go up in the mountain right there up top of seminary, pull the e-brake to hit the brakes. I ain't hitting the brake pedal. I ain't making no brake lights turn on, none of that. Hey, I'm in the clear. It's dark. Ain't the, the, I done shook the hell. I done shook the helicopter, right? I'm like, nigga, I'm a bad motherfucker. Okay, for sure. I'm sitting there holding the e-brake, waiting out of nowhere. Boom, motherfucking helicopter light come down on me. I said, fuck. They own me. Fuck. So I'm I'm trying to back up out these people driveway without tearing my shit up. You know what I'm saying? I'm driving my shit like I'm going to see it another day. I ain't putting a scratch on my baby. So I back up out the driveway. Whoop, whoop, whoop. You know what I'm saying? I'm coming back down the hill. By the time I'm coming back down the hill towards the seminary four-way stop sign at the exit, all the CHP cars coming off the freeway. It's about seven of them. Man, I blew the stop sign. Whop, 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 whop. Turn left, yeah, dummy sideways, get back on 580. Now I'm heading back east towards the hundreds. Hey, helicopter back on me. Ground units can't fuck with me. Man, I'm 19 in a six speed 99 SS all stock. They could not fuck with me, right? I'm driving like I'm El Chapo. I'm driving like I got warrants, I got bricks. I got something like I'm driving like a motherfucking like I'm a hot boy the way I'm driving. I'm driving like I got something to lose. Right. So I'm on 580. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm shifting that motherfucker dog in the ground units. Right. I had to come to terms, though. I look up. I look around. I say. It ain't no motherfucking shaking this helicopter, bro. This motherfucker on me. Now, now mind you, I done did some gone in 60 seconds shit up until this point. I'm Nicholas Cage with the motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting it. But I had to come to terms. I say, hey, I can't shake this motherfucking helicopter. And what I say, I say, before I let these motherfuckers beat my ass on the side of the road, nigga, I'm taking it to the house. Nigga, I need some witnesses around this motherfucker. Hey, I can't let these niggas get me on the side of the road and dog me out. So look, 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 check it out, y'all, check it out. So I'm on 580, yeah, 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 I'm still in it. Like, I ain't giving up. I'm still like, nigga, fuck y'all. So I'm pop, pop, pop. Helicopter still on me, ground units been dogged out. I get off on 106, foothill exit. Yeah, 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 turn right, turn left. Ha. I'm coming down 106. Now I'm back where I started, 106 and Mac. At the Arco, it's still cranking. It's thick. I could barely get through. I'm, I'm beeping the horn. Hey, 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 move, move, move. Let me do this motherfucker. Let me do, let me do. Glass through the whole side show that I just originated from. Took him all the way down to 106 and Bancroft. Now I'm back at the house. Man, I'm back at the house 106 and Bancroft. I'm dogging the ground units. Ain't no ground units by me, but that bird still on me. Could not shake that motherfucker, right? So I pull up in the yard. Now I had a big yard cyclone fence with a drive-in driveway with the gate was already open, you feel me? I pull through the gate, pull into the yard between some trees, running the back. And the whole time the helicopter got the light on me. 
running the back door of the house. I ain't even come close to the front door. Running the back door of the house. This back when they had the Metro phone with the rubber sides, the Kyocera. We talking about 2005, old school, right? I ran in the house. I was living with my grandma at the time, right? My grandma, we that's who I was with on 106, right? I ran in the house. I say, hey, hey, nanny, hey, I fucked up. They coming. They coming. I, I'm sorry, nanny, but I fucked up. They coming. Hey, I took my wallet, took my phone, took my keys. In my mind, I'm like, these niggas ain't getting none of that. Like, they going to have to work for this toe. So two seconds later, da, 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 da. come out with your hands up. Ah, helicopter light, hella police, ground units, all the shit. So I come out, surrender, blah, blah, blah. They throw me in the back of the car, right? California Howard Patrol, whole time. That's who owned me. They throw me in the back of the Howard Patrol car, right? They say they got me in the back of the, all my niggas on the 106. Like, Sha, what's up, my nigga? Like, hey, what's going on? Mind you. I said, I need some witnesses. These niggas ain't finna beat my ass on the side of the road, right? So I had to take them on one to the house. Nanny come out in her in her nightgown. You know grandma how she come out in that nightgown. Grandma come out, ain't nothing going down with grandma watching, you feel me? I'm grandma baby. <laughs> so look, I'm in the back of the police car. They say, hey, where the keys at? I say, hey, man, I don't got no keys, man. I threw them motherfuckers in the back of the yard somewhere. Like, y'all gonna have to go look for them. Like, I don't know what keys. Man, tell me why these motherfuckers start acting like they looking for my keys on the sidewalk. Remind you, 106 is a main street. Like, a bus go up and down 106. It's a traffic light right there. Like, it's a main street, right? They, they looking on the sidewalk in the middle of the driveway, like, basically what a wide pipe of the car would be at when you pulling in. Like, man, I, I seen the cop reach down. He say, what's this? Man, can you believe these motherfuckers tried to plant a rock on me, y'all? I'm 19, squeaky clean, college student, basically. I'm in auto school, just graduated high school with honors, all the shit. Like, I'm square on paper. These motherfuckers pick up a rock, supposedly. What's this? Nigga, you tell me. What the fuck you mean, what's that? Bruh, do you know, by the time they try to take me to Santa Rita Jail, I was facing felony possession, felony evading arrest, and misdemeanor reckless driving. Man, I, it was Saturday night that I went into that motherfucker, right? I'm in that motherfucker Saturday night, Sunday night. Monday came, I, I went all the way to downtown Oakland to see the judge, didn't see the judge. Tuesday came, went all the way downtown to see the judge, didn't see the judge. Wednesday came, go all the way from Santa Rita to downtown Oakland to see the judge. Now, y'all know what happened when you go from the jail, from the county jail to the courthouse to see the judge, right? We talking dropping draws, spreading ass cheeks, coughing. All of that shit, all that demeaning ass shit, right? Finally, I see the judge on Wednesday. But pause, before that happened, from Saturday night leading up to that Wednesday, I'm calling my little bitch on the payphone, right? I'm, and now, mind you, look, Pete, because they got me on all these felony charges, I'm in yellows. I'm in medium security, not blues. I'm not in general population with a bunch of suck ass niggas that just did small crimes. No, they got me in yellows with niggas for serious crimes. Niggas asking me, I mean, I got pie time. It's like the movie Oz. Like, nigga, you come out your cell, come down the stairs to eat your little bullshit meal. I'm in pie time. Niggas asking me like, bro, what you do to be in here? I'm like, Shit, nigga did some donuts and got in a high speed. They like, what, nigga? What? And you up in, I'm like, yeah, brother, niggas, they planted dope on me. CHP planted dope on me. But one time, one day, it must have been like the Tuesday before the Wednesday I got out. I'm on the phone in pie time. I'm on the pay phone calling my little broad. Man, this white boy walked up to me. Now, mind you, I'm 19. He had to be like 40-something, close to 50. I ain't going to say he was Aryan Brotherhood. I don't know what the fuck he was, but he was an old white motherfucker. He walk up to me. He say, hey, this the white phone. This the white, the whites only phone. Man, I looked that motherfucker dead in his face. I said, well, you lucky I'm half white, motherfucker. 
and kept talking my little broad. Hey, that motherfucker had to look at me and walk the fuck off because he already knew, nigga. This motherfucking county jail, first of all. First of all, nigga, I'm liable to see you on the streets any day, nigga. I'll beat your ass. Like, what I look like letting you check me on the motherfucking phone in county jail, nigga? This ain't Quentin. This ain't the pen. Like, nigga, what the fuck you mean, Mr. White? Nigga, you lucky that I'm half white and kept talking to my broad. Anyway, so Wednesday come, drop the drawers, pull your balls, spread your ass, finally went to court, right? Now I'm squeaky clean. I go to court. I walk in from the side door, chain shackles, all the shit. The DA like, yeah, I don't want to let him go on an OR. He's got a bad driving record. <laughs> Hey, mind you, I'm squeaky clean. I ain't got no prerequisites. Nigga, I ain't got no priors. The DA say, I don't want to let him go. He's got a bad driving record. Man, the motherfucking judge looked at that motherfucking DA said, man, we letting him go on an OR tonight. Man, they for sure made me wait until about midnight before they let me out that motherfucker. But that night I got out that bitch. And, and somehow, by the grace of God, by the time I went to my first court date with a public pretender, all of a sudden, the felony possession was just missing from the case. Wait, what happened to the, to the rock? What happened to the rock they put on me? All of a sudden, it was just felony evading arrest and misdemeanor reckless driving. Hey, y'all, uh, I say that to say. I done been through some shit. So anybody out there that got a story where they tell you the fucking police planted some shit on them, that shit real, y'all. The motherfucking California Highway Patrol tried to put dope on me when I was 19 years old. And if I had any fucking prior, you know that shit would have stuck. But because I was squeaky clean on paper, they knew that shit ain't gonna stick. This nigga was just dogging us out because he bought that life. I was dogging them out because I didn't want to get my shit told. I was tired of getting my car told by that point. I had already got told um, enough times by that point. Fuck the police was my attitude. Hey, Dinosaur Diaries, Volume 1. If you got motherfucking entertainment and inspiration from this story, leave a motherfucking like and a comment, and it's more to come. SS Shine signing out. Y'all stay true to the game and never be lame. Peace.